Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Brightpath. And in episode 232, I want to talk about your CEO's priorities for 2024. And I want to focus in some specific areas recently highlighted in a report from McKinsey and Company about what matters most, eight CEO priorities for 2024. And for anyone who's paying any attention at all to what's going on in the world, it's not going to surprise you that artificial intelligence is right at the top of McKinsey's list of CEO priorities for 2024. The very top of the list for for McKinsey is to embrace generative AI and advanced analytics for innovation. That they see generative artificial intelligence as the start of something big. Um, And that you'll find ways to leverage data and leverage AI in this way in order to drive growth in your organization. And that this is perhaps the top priority for CEOs in 2024. The second area of focus for CEOs, according to McKinsey, is out-competing the competition with technology. That prioritizing technology integration for business agility is an important part of what they should focus on in 2024. It's interesting how many times we've seen this here at Bright Path as we've worked with our clients to evaluate their business continuity, crisis management, and disaster recovery programs, how much outdated technology is out there and how much upgrading technology to current and future capabilities we are seeing amongst our clients. Number three is the energy transition as a strategic imperative. The focus here, of course, is on the transition to greener forms of energy. So think about solar, wind, hydro, and other related energy transitions. But it's also smaller things like how do you deal with your carbon footprint? Um, Are there ways to build uh, more environmentally friendly, more energy efficient buildings, fleets, vehicles, and more? Number four is figuring out the company's superpower. It's figuring out, uh, as a part of this, how do you leverage the key capabilities of your organization on the hidden talents within your own teams in order to power forward with your organization and achieve your strategic objectives. Number five is understanding the strategic value that middle managers play in the organization. That a lot of the emphasis uh, coming out of the pandemic has been on how we reinvent the company and how we lead differently at senior levels and how we keep and retain and train our entry level talent that do the bulk of the work. And companies are learning that they've neglected the middle layer of management, the ones who oversee the individual contributors and help make things happen in the organization. Number six is dealing with geopolitical risk. Just as we talked about in our last episode, in episode uh, 231 last week, um, how do you, how do companies um, develop unique strategies for competitive advantage given the challenges we face today with geopolitical complexities? What are some proactive things you can do to help manage that risk? Number seven is looking at how to navigate the road towards a more courageous growth strategy for your organization. Let's face it, there's a lot of economic uncertainty right now. We think about 2024 and geopolitical instability. Here in the United States, we're coming out on congressional, Senate, and presidential election. There's a lot of potential turmoil and potential violence related to this uh, political upheaval. And in all of this, we're trying to figure out what's the growth pattern for our organization, for our company, how do we move forward through that? And then lastly, number eight um, on McKinsey's list is about having a new lens on the micro uh, economy. It's about staying informed on, I said micro, but I meant macro. Stay informed on the macro economic trends and risks that are facing the world today. McKinsey highlights a few other areas that maybe are not in that top eight, but are still key issues for boards and CEOs right now. Those include strengthening resilience against supply chain disruption, around emphasizing sustainability in your organization, and lastly, continuing to harness digital platforms for operational efficiency. McKinsey has a full report on this on their website. You can find at mckinsey.com. 
And the report is titled, What Matters Most? Eight CEO Priorities for 2024. As a resilience leader, this is a great report to read to understand some of the key things, some of the key challenges facing your organization, and some of the priorities that your CEO and board are likely talking about, thinking about, and trying to tackle throughout this year. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.